or taunt or death rattle or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. But like what that doesn't factor in is when you don't have a beast on the board. Ramranger essentially summons a zero zero, right? It just doesn't work. Yeah. Um, so I'm still not convinced on the card. But yeah, the overall value when it hits is almost, you know, consistently pretty damn high. Um, so yeah, I, I I think the card is reasonable. But anyway, getting back to the matchup here. The, uh, the oh, did you see that? Whoa! Did you see that? Well, okay, so in a lot of situations, a Flame Tongue Tome here would be very nice with this Force of Nature, but it's completely irrelevant on this board, and far more important is the fact that the Piloted Shredder just got sniped down by three consecutive knives. <laughs> what were the odds of that happening? Wait, there were four minions and a character on board. Potential to steal one of the two two hyenas as well if he attacks into the high main. Yep. So he has to go for a defense. Oh, he's playing around freezing trap in this situation and a second snake trap will kind of be devastating too and just a, a little smirk on rdu's face there he knows mm -hmm. he, he's, he knows he's lost the uh the lottery there on the the, the the secrets obviously the play he made was pretty goddamn good against freezing trap because uh he would have had a decent chance of just stealing the high main but now he has a drastically oh. reduced chance but he gets it all right he gets it. but it's really awful anyway there's an it's there's a ball which deals mm -hmm. because that's basically 12 damage from hand if you have two minions on board yep. and that's yeah that's enough to kill your opponent next turn yeah i absolutely agree with you going face here does turn out to be game losing because now tom just has lethal but it's one of those situations in hearthstone mm -hmm. where making the best play loses you the game and one of the one of the skills in really getting better in hearthstone is recognizing when you made the best play and lost the game because of it and in those situations you need to, um, to pair it up with a crackle to deal uh to deal with a minion yeah, seems like a pretty solid turn to me. The big game hunter coming into his hand is going to be pretty crucial as well to, to deal with the Doctor Boom if that mm -hmm. comes down uh, from Tom. Oh, he doesn't he doesn't trust the RNG. Whoa. Okay. I mean, hey. yeah. I mean, it's not maybe the correct line, but it's the safest line. Mm. Is it too safe though? Is the question. Does he feel that far behind that he needs to make the? Safe I play think there? he might really fall behind if he doesn't kill the uh, spell slinger with the crackle. The odds are low, low, but at least you you push your opponent to trade into the Emperor that turn. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. uh, so, the value of your big game hunter has been reduced a little bit since you're now only big game huntering a 7-3, but still. So what about Azodrake first? And you can leave the... Uh, maybe that's you'll just draw strange. a breath? Yeah, what else does he want to play? Yeah, you almost certainly should have played the other Drake first here, right? Um, I think even if you draw Wrath, um, it might be the play anyway, because what else are you going to big game Hunter? I guess Ronin has come into the deck now, so yeah, there is some merit to holding on to big game Hunter. I don't like the healing touch at all this uh, this turn. There's no reason to play it. You're not dead after that by playing the healing touch with like no way of your opponent, you know, Dealing with this. I think from RDU's perspective, it, the way he's looking at the game was like, okay, I just win next turn with combo anyway, so let's mm -hmm. just make this game as safe as possible this turn and just play any around any ridiculous worlds where I do die from from just straight up burn. Okay, yeah, maybe maybe that makes sense. But I want you are not doing anything this turn, and yep. that sounds horrible. So you have to play it and hope that RDU will trade, which will not happen, of course, because RDU is not threatened by the board at all. Nope. And he just wants to deal enough damage to finish the game with a top deck weapon, an example. Yeah, absolutely. Tom's thinking really hard, just going through various calculations of his outs and his opponent's outs if he plays Mookla, but I think he's ended up with the right conclusion here that he just has to play it to win. And, Battle uh, Rage. Oh, wow, what a top deck. So two draws to hit lethal here. Uh, and no. Nope. <laughs> So any weapon or a second Warsong Commander, if there's still one left, would have been lethal that turn. Yes. Um, but I guess just in a rage, execute tidies up this board quite quite nicely. And then how do you feel about Acolyte and putting the bananas on the Acolyte? Because you don't really need the extra damage from the the Warsong the Commander. Emperor? From yeah, from the Emperor. Uh, yeah, sorry, from the from the Emperor. I think you should just go face and deal damage. Yeah. And you can put then one banana on the. Emperor and one banana on Acolyte of Pain. Before the attack. Okay, if you're trading, it's definitely better to put it on the Acolyte, though, for sure. Yes. Uh, yeah, which he does. But yeah, I mean, going face there and setting up lethal is perfectly viable as well. This is a, a thing I've 
talked about a lot on my stream is like people have different styles of winning one games and this is almost certainly a one game and it's just a matter of you know picking a particular line either you're going to try and grind your opponent out or you're just going to try and end the game quickly and reduce the amount of outs they get to see out of their deck mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um and yeah uh rdu here seems to be going for the uh the grind no no slam your own acolyte yeah slam your acolyte why you do that well, he got, he got okay. the chain draws anyway. Yeah, let's just keep chaining card draw. Seems fine. <laughs> so you don't care. That's fine. Yeah, you don't care. Oh, maybe you do. I mean, in this situation, just go face and next uh, next thing just deaths by the opponent Dead to the death, pass. right? Spell Slinger, Flame Strike. Nope. No such thing. He's going to try it one more time, but I think with four mana, there's not a great deal he can get that affects this board and keeps... Frost Nova? Ah, uh, Frost Nova would have done the job. Unstable portal. <laughs> Oh. Into World Ignite, but not enough mana to use it. So, that's it. That wraps up the game. It was kind of silly ending, right? Yeah. It was like... <laughs>